So yesterday, before the storm came, I went out and collected these seeds. This is some of the hawksweed seeds. They've I've plucked them as flowers, uh, sorry, as seed heads. There's their tiny, 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 tiny seeds. Very small. I'll be spreading them about. Then this is the flower head or seed head of a um, salad burnet. So in amongst these are the seeds that, um, so here's that. That is a uh, plantain seed, I think. Let's see, aha, here's a salad burnet seed. Oh, so that's a salad burnet seed. Salad burnet seeds have these kind of ribs on them. There, let's see if I can pick one up. So yeah, that's a salad burnet seed because it has these ribs on it kind of thing. Anyway, in this is um, vetches, uh, salad burnet, plantains. This is, now, so this was collected yesterday and is dry or drying, and I'm now getting it all over my sleeve. This is what I've just now collected, and um, it's still damp, so, I don't want the seeds to go moldy. So I collected seed heads like this. This is uh, plantain or rib grass. These are those seeds. And so I just wiggle them like that and then it's gone. So these, this is one of the hawkweeds and they're like dandelions. So you wanna catch them. I like to catch them before they turn into their featheriness and take flight. So um, you can see on the drying tray that that one there dried out and opened up so into its kind of like clock dandelion. Now the cowslips aren't ready yet. They're still very green, but I just picked one just anyway. And purple clover, you can see that's the purple clover flower. And then when it dries up like this, you break up the seed head. And then the, these have, each one of these flowers has a seed at the end of it. So there, I don't know if you can see, the thing's not focusing very well. There is a seed right there. That is the seed. Purple clover the seed is right in there. So these need to be dried. Oh, and these are the vetches. The vetches are come in these pods like peas because they're in the pea family, which is why the vetch flour you can eat and put in a salad and it's really, really delicious. So there's the vetches. So I will sort through this. My kettle is boiling about to have coffee. So uh, this tray is the result of yesterday's collection. This is today's collection, so I'll be putting it on the tray as soon as I've sorted out, like taken the, the seeds out of pods and, uh, and uh, sorted through the flower heads of the salad burnets and things like that and then it will dry and then I'll be able to spread it. It won't go moldy. Part of the drying is just, they'll be sown very soon, but part of the drying process is just so that they don't go moldy if I don't get a chance to throw them out where I want to sow them.